MUN directors, delegates, student officers, admin and press, president of the General Assembly, deputy secretary generals, executive presidents, heads of admin, press, IT, and events, welcome to Diamond 2017. It is my honor this year to serve as the secretary general for the ninth annual Dubai International Academy, Model United Nations. This conference has long served as a place for people who have nothing in common to be united by a mutual goal to change the world around us. It has always been a platform for young students to not only express themselves, but to make a change. It allows the youth of today to develop a voice and then empowers them to take that voice and broadcast it across the world. In 2014, I was one of the youngest delegates attending Diamond. I was able to observe the world of diplomacy from the back of the General Assembly One Committee Room. I was fascinated to read notes from the more serious delegates and discuss amendments, debate, and resolution, and had a bit, of a, more, a bit more of a giggle reading the more humorous and scandalous notes too. Overall, my eyes shone as I sat at a table at the back of the committee representing the United Nations Environmental Program, a, com a position that I thought at the time gave me all the power in the world. Despite being only 13 years old, I remember this conference as being one of the most impactful weekends of my life. It spurred me to research topics I would never have learned about otherwise, such as fission reactors, international security, and nuclear weaponry. I tried to preserve the memory of the conference in any way I could. I took hundreds of selfies with every delegate I had befriended, kept every note I received, preserved every resolution created, and looked after the transcripts of every speech I delivered. But most exhilarating was the feeling of standing before 150 people and being seen as an equal. I remember attending the Diamond 2014 opening ceremony in this very same auditorium and listening to the Secretary General of that year, Tara Ahluwalia, and thinking, someday that will be me, standing up there on the podium, talking about world issues and ready to lead a conference of hundreds of my peers. Someday, I will be that fearless and influential. This year's theme of international response to global conflict has never been more relevant than it is now. Voices all over the world are being silenced, flames of liberation are being extinguished, and basic human rights are being denied. So why aren't we doing more? Is it not our responsibility to help the helpless? And is it not our responsibility to defend our planet, which cannot defend itself? We all must collaborate towards sculpting a more unified world for our children and their children and for many more generations to come. A world in which no one will have to ask, why didn't anyone do more to help? For a long time, I have been the representative of the minority. I am a girl. I am fortunate enough to have lived my life free of any gender-based discrimination. I am lucky to live in an environment that supports the rights of women and provides them with equal opportunities and mutual respect and allows them to flourish. I am fortunate to be able to say that I have never been denied an opportunity based on my gender. But hundreds of thousands of women around the world are not as fortunate as I have been. I am also a Syrian and I am fortunate enough to wake up every day in a house that is whole in a bed that is soft, eat meals that are warm, to go to school, to get an education, and to not be forced to subscribe to the never-ending soundtrack of gunfire in the background of my daily life. But hundreds of thousands of Syrians are not as fortunate as I have been. Almost all of us here can say that as children, we grew up blind to the horrors of war, starvation, poverty, conflict, pollution, and strife. But millions of children around the world cannot say the same. As teenagers, we think we hold the world in our hands and that it is ours for the taking. We think that making a change is something that comes as naturally as brushing your teeth or taking a step. We think that all the power that we need to take a stand is right in front of us. And it is this persistence, this willpower, and this strength of character that brings together people like you and me. Because we have not lost hope in a brighter future. And we are determined to change this world for the better. Because we believe we can. And because we believe that it is possible. 
I am privileged to have been given the opportunity to not only support the masses, but to help others with dreams like mine on their journey to achieving their individual goals. But my own journey could never have been completed without the help of some truly special and treasured people in my life. To begin with, my parents, who have supported me and encouraged me and advised me at every turn, and whose reassurance means the world to me. I hope you can see the impact that you both have had on me every single day, and I hope that I have made you proud. Thank you also to Mr. Vikas. Sir, no words can describe how grateful we are for you. Thank you for dropping everything else in your life to support this conference. Thank you for entertaining all our ideas, no matter how crazy and seemingly impossible. Thank you for never telling us the words no or I can't. Thank you for sticking by us and protecting us no matter what. You have become more than a teacher or an MUN director. To us, you have become a friend. Thank you to Ms. Mina, who joined us only recently, but immediately was ready to jump into action. Miss, you were a blessing when we needed one most, and we are so grateful for all the energy, enthusiasm, guidance, and support that you have brought to our team. Thank you to Ms. Bajani for your continued commitment to this conference and for inspiring us to work harder by never losing faith in us, the youth, and for constantly being there to support us. Thank you, Ms. Ralph, for believing in your students, for guiding us always, and for being there for us every step of the way. Thank you to my mentors, Ashish and Sahil, who brought me into the world of MUN, guided me for years, and taught me everything I know. You've helped me when I needed it the most, and I owe my determination to change the world to you. To all of you who have come out to Diamond, whether you have flown hundreds of miles, or have simply taken a taxi or a bus to get here, we appreciate every single one of you. And we are grateful for your passion for and interest in Diamond 2017. Thank you to the parents and teachers who have supported your children to take part in this conference. You are helping them to change the world. Last, but of course not least, my executive team. Aditya Darkan Sahir, Aman Tessa Niraf, Avani, Tara, Navia, Ananya, Alej, Amira, Shreya, and Alina. Thank you for taking this task with more passion and enthusiasm than I could have ever hoped for. Thank you for dealing with all the late night phone calls, the last minute changes, and the demanding requirements of being on my team. You have each brought something different to this team, and I'm privileged to say that I had the pleasure of learning something new from you all every day. For you 14, I have three words. We did it. To everyone who believes they have something to stand for, and to everyone who believes they have something to fight for, this conference is for you. I hope each and every one of you takes this opportunity to come together and to step up to your own podium and use your own voice to speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. Thank you.